Many people here in the United States think of Canada as a magical place where everyone is nice and kind to each other. Well, today's story is only going to reinforce that notion. Bob Erb and his wife were traveling through Saskatchewan, Canada when they stopped into the Old West Express Diner in Chamberlain. The couple met friendly owner Clifford Luther, chatted, and eventually learned that the restaurant tour had just hours earlier received the devastating news that his daughter was diagnosed with cancer. Bob spoke to CTV via phone from his hometown of Terrace, British Columbia. And I had mentioned, you know, that I had lost my 26-year-old son almost five years ago, so you know, I understand, you know, the the anxiety and uh, and worry. The out-of-towner was also on a somber voyage, traveling to bury his father's ashes in the family cemetery. After doing so, three days later, Bob and his wife traveled back to the Old West Express Diner. Bob explained, I said, hey, I didn't get a chance to stop in a bank machine. Can I write you a check? I said, for, for lunch? He said, ah, no, no, no. He says, you know, I'll buy you lunch. And I said, no, no, no. I said, I'll leave you a check and a tip. Bob paid for the meal of burgers and fries. When Clifford saw that Bob's check was written out for $10,000, he became overwhelmed with emotion and was amazed by the kindness of this stranger who had become his friend. He said, you know, go and see your daughter next week. You know, make sure you get out there to see her. So. Wow. To write a $10,000 check like it's nothing, you'd probably have to be some kind of million to do that, right? Right. And that's exactly what Bob Herb is. In November of 2012, he won a lottery jackpot of $25 million and has given around $7 million to various charities and people he felt could use help. It just shows how good people can be, you know, how how he had good fortune and he was able to pass it on and I, I believe he's a very generous man. Clifford is planning a trip to see his daughter in Vancouver. All I know is this, if Bob Erb felt compelled to write a $10,000 check after eating at Old West Express, then I definitely want to eat there. Well, they're, they're good burgers and fries, but they're not that good. <laughs> you know, let's be serious here. Oh, Clifford.